Hey guys, my name is Shivam from EVA Tech and today I am going to show you how can you install a 64-bit operating system on a 32-bit PC or any operating system on a PC. But make sure when you install 64-bit operating system, your processor should support 64-bit. If you don't know your processor supports 64-bit or not, click here on the link above or in the description. So you need these things, a Windows 7 ISO file, Windows 7, 8 or 10 ISO file, a pen drive and make sure your disk is in basic types. To know whether your disk are in basic types, just right click on start menu and go to disk management. So here my disks are all, all basic types. If you Dicks are not in basic type. See the description below how to convert your dicks into basic from dynamic. So next step is you have to make your pen drive a bootable drive. If you don't know how to make your pen drive a bootable drive, just click in the link in the description below. Now just restart your PC and press the key configuration for entering into boot mode so I will show you how to enter the boot mode so I'm going to slow the video so you can see the key which you should press to enter the boot menu so as soon as your PC starts see here the F12 is shown for boot menu press F12 as soon as your PC start and select Sandix or the pendrive name to boot into that don't paste the ISO file directly in the pendrive it will be not booted up you have to make a bootable drive with that ISO file Check the link in the description below to convert the ISO file into bootable file. So after you boot it up into the Windows and drive or Windows 10 64 bit, your files will get copied. Select the drive you want to install. Don't select the original C drive, select another drive which was free. So I'm going to free up speed up the process so the windows was installed successfully so we need to now set up the windows and 64 bit i originally had a 32 bit operating system and my processor supported 64 bit so on volume 4 i have installed a 64 bit operating system volume 2 was the original one So again the choosing operating system has came. So on volume 4 that is on local X key I have installed my operating system Windows 10 64 bit. On volume 2 is my original operating system that is Windows 10 32 bit. You can download the Windows ISO file from the link given in the description below. The file may be about 4 GB. Download the file whichever you require 32 bit or 64 bit. And you can use both the windows now after doing these steps. Both windows on your PC and both will be activated and you will get updates. So when I have installed this 32 bit and 64 bit at once, I was getting update and both were activated. So I will just set up this things first. So the computer is now booted up. Now I will just move settings. Show you whether my PC is now in 64 bit or not. So whenever you will boot a, booting the computer, there will be a choice in which drive you into uh, booting whether in 32 bit or 64 bit 
so I will see my completed status. My okay, I will see the system properties. So here you can see. Let it open. Huh. So now it has opened. So it is secured operating system into 64 base processor. So into 64 base processor means our processor supports 64 bit. If you like this video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. Guys, please don't forget and subscribe.